Uh, and before we hit the break, another story kind of making the uh, the rounds uh, locally here. The uh, the Missouri miracle. Yes. The woman who's not uh, her. She's just still around. From Fox 2 headline, none whose body shows little decay since 2019 death draws hundreds to rural Missouri. Hundreds of people flocked to a small town in Missouri this week uh, and last to see a black nun whose body has barely decomposed since 2019. Some say it's a sign of holiness and Catholicism, while others say the lack of decomposition may not be as rare as people think. Hmm. Has anybody seen this story? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Like, people are making pilgrimages out to this particular uh, rural town. Perryville? Uh, yeah. Gower, Missouri. Okay. Well, G-O-W-E-R. Gower, Missouri. Sister Wilhelmina Lancaster was exhumed in April, according to a statement from the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, in Gower, Missouri. The nuns had been preparing for the addition of a St. Joseph shrine... And that involved the reinterment of the remains of our beloved foundress, <clears throat> Sister Wilhelmina. When they exhumed her, they were only expecting bones, since she had been buried in a simple wooden coffin without any embalming okay. four years ago. So this is basically they put Sister Wilhelmina in a box, yeah, like your a, a pine box, as natural as you can wow. get as far as being buried. No body preparation at a funeral home, nothing, right. just. In the box. Yes. In the ground. Uh, instead, they discovered an intact body and a perfectly preserved religious habit, like the outfit the nuns wear. What if she was buried alive and just passed away like a few hours before they dug her up? Boy, that'd be unfortunate. That would yeah. be unfortunate. The nuns had meant to publicize the discovery, but someone posted a private email publicly, and the news began to spread like wildfire. Volunteers and local law enforcement have helped to manage the crowds in the town of roughly 1,800 people as people have visited from all over the country to see and touch the body. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see it. They're touching her I didn't hands. know they were touching the body. It was pretty amazing, said Samuel Dawson, who was a Catholic and visited from Kansas City with his son last week. It was very peaceful, just very reverent. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Seems like there was a bigger miracle at play. That we didn't get <laughs> you know what i mean like i don't know i'm not super uh, versed on religious history but i feel like her coming back to life would have been pretty cool you know uh right. as opposed to just like give it a minute body didn't <laughs> yeah. decay maybe that's what people are waiting for well and maybe. how long does it take for a body that's been naturally buried no embalming or anything like i i just don't know how long i would think it's, it's it's fast faster yeah. well four years Right. She's been on the ground for four years. Yeah. I mean, what if, and I'm just throwing this out here just for <laughs> devil's advocate, um, what if there was some chemical on the pine box that deterred the insects because obviously, like, Don't bodies you bring science into this. <laughs> this is a miracle. No, I know. I, this I is want a miracle. it to be a miracle. But I'm just saying, maybe there's some sort of pesticide that was on the tree that made the pine box that now the insects that eat our bodies when we die I don't know were well, deterred from eating I'm this going young listen lady. So, I'm so going with miracle so your environment obviously plays the biggest part here but it says that if you are in ordinary soil it takes the body to decompose to a skeleton about 8 to 12 years but if you're inside a coffin and buried deep in the, deep underground, it could take 50 years to decompose the tissues Jeez. yeah but that's like an embalmed body right I, no no. Oh, an, an unembalmed body. Yeah, they're saying several wow. years for the body to completely skeletonize, and that's in normal soil. 50 years. But did you see what she looks like? I mean, it's pretty good shape. Yeah. yeah. Very it's good shape. Almost. Very good shape. Look, look at this. There's kids looks pretty kids fresh. touching the gal. Yeah. There she is. Ready to, ready to dance. Man. Wow. That is kind of freaky, though, to bring a kid to that. <laughs> I guess if you're, I guess, look at the line. Well, look at her hands. Yeah. Hands aren't looking so high. Hands are not looking mm -hmm. great. She needs a little lotion, I think. <sighs> look at the line, though, outside the church. Like, go, go up in the, in the story. Go up. Look at that, yeah. look at that line. Wow. Dang. That's like a ratio meeting. I was going to say, <laughs> those hot shots a month ago. <laughs> Visitors were allowed to touch her. 
the nuns wanted to make her accessible to the public because in real life she was always accessible to people. Uh, the monastery said in a statement that Lancaster's body will be placed in a, gra a glass shrine in their church Monday. Visitors will still be able to see her body and take dirt from the grave, but will not be able to touch her. So that was as of hmm. this past Monday. Man, um, okay, so you're you're there. Are you touching her? No. Oh, I am. Yeah, you have to. I don't have to do anything. I'm not waiting in line, by the way. To what? <laughs> you're I'm gonna see if there's a line. fast pass. Is there a fast pass for this miracle? Man, what if? Um, hmm. And she was 95. Wow. She was 95. First of all, she looks better dead than most 95-year-olds alive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at her. Right. Her face looks amazing. 95 and being dead for four years? She looks good. She's 99. She looks good. I don't know. Now this decomp... De you know, the, the body's decomposing over 50 years. I mean... If it's... If now, it's, if, you it's, it's, bring it's the, it if you want to bring the signs into it. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Rebecca, and this is from the Fox 2 article, Rebecca George, an anthropology instructor at Western Carolina University in North Carolina, says the body's lack of decomposition might not be as rare as people are expecting. Uh, she said the mummification of unembalmed bodies is common at the university's facility, and the bodies could stay preserved for many years if allowed to. Internal organs, by the way, uh, like three to five days after death, are starting to just go, just liquefy. Typically, when we bury them, we don't exhume them. We don't get a look at them a couple years out. With 100 years, there might be nothing left. But when you've got just a few years, this is not unexpected. Hmm. Hey, I'm all about people well, loving to, a miracle. Way to pee on my miracle. Having yeah. a... Mm -hmm. having almost a like no one bothered looking it up. <laughs> right. They just... Get, it's a miracle. And then just ran with it. Yeah. She's still dead? Yeah, but it's still a miracle. All right, let's run with it. But she's well, still dead, right? Well, let's be I honest. Mean, it's on. also a reason for people to line up outside the church, and then you got the little donation sure. box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But remember, I mean, we've all seen a deer on the side of the road, and then we've seen it three days later, and seen it a week later. Yeah, cooking in the sun. Well, that's because the Hoosiers yeah. are picking it up, and it's gone. <laughs> that's not a miracle. That's dinner. It's good eating. Yeah, it's a miracle we got some good eating tonight. Yeah, it's the, where's Gower, Missouri? Is that out near the Kansas City side? Yeah, that's where Kansas North City Archdiocese Kansas City. Is, is pretty much in charge of this thing. It's also just weird what... <laughs> this is what they're known for. You type in Gower, Missouri, and the first thing that pops up is the nun's body. Yeah. what? Because they got nothing else yeah. going for them. They're known for dead nuns. <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm yes, just, go say it. <laughs> say it. You like we drive into Gower, home of dead nuns. Home of the dead nuns. <laughs> you got a batting cage in Gower. <laughs> yeah, you got to swing around fun town in Gower. We need a miracle. <laughs> right. We need a miracle. We got to find a, a lady bat. We got to find a lady bat. Well, we got to take some of that dirt from the grave and you know rub it on the bat. On hands, rub it on Lay the bat. Lay your Ooh. hands on me. Lay Here your we go. Anything to help me. We got to win at all costs. Yeah. Scott, hitting. take that fixed car of yours and head over to Gower. Get some of that dirt. All right. Start hitting dingers. Start hitting dingers. Well, the Gower uh, power. It's weird contextually also what, you know, environments that you can uh, change the rules of society. Because if Where I was this just like, hey, guys, when we get off at 10, you guys want to go with me and touch a dead body? You would, almost all of you would say no. I know where a dead body is, but it's cool. <laughs> I dug it up. Was All right. It just, did they just die? About, no, no, no. It's been down there four years. How about the, we dug this thing up and go, huh. She looks pretty good. Let's, uh. Let's touch her. Just, uh, we let's touch her and then. Uh, show okay. her off. Let's put yeah. it on display. Yeah. Weird. They've probably never had body worlds out that way, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Oh, look. at yeah. Her hands are gnarly. So, somebody was like, I'm impressed. Uh, are you impressed? I think this would impress everyone. Let's oh, let's tell let's them. Let's show her off. Get a close up of yeah, the hands the hands again. Are, the hands are. The hands are. Is there I'm any sure scent? Be classified as hands anymore? Is this? Are these folded in fingers here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, people got their it's hands like a, all over. Oh, <laughs> she's a big Run the Jewels fan. That's what I was thinking too about <laughs> Run the Jewels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming they've like put like Picture you know this <laughs> perfumes and colognes and and you know smelly stuff, right? That, that yeah, can't smell right. And what happens if the air conditioning goes out uh, on a summer day in Missouri? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's that's that is. Do you think I mean, like, what if it is miracle? I don't want to be blasphemous. Oh, we, we're past that. Just in case, <laughs> I will be. <laughs> we well, see and help, pal. Well, yeah, you'll be there trying to cut line. Well, <laughs> like in a couple of weeks, does this story die off? No pun intended. And like they go, ah, this one. No, a they're putting her under glass. I know, but is somebody gonna like MythBusters come in and they're like, absolutely not. This is not a miracle. Again, a quick Google search says this is not. Crazy unusual. Yeah, we don't need myth busters. I want them. You could a quick. You could even go to Ask Jeeves, and it'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs>